Hello everyone and welcome to Instant Biology by Dr. Neela. Again, I am here with you with another very very interesting opportunity to be more specific, a broad opportunity. I am at the home page of GIST that is Gwangju Institute of Science and Technology and uh, this institute is situated in Korea and this is one of the uh, leading institutes and uh, uh, it has a nice ranking across Korea as well. So what are the different programs that are being offered uh, from this institution? Uh, that is what we are going to discuss today. Apart from that, what is the funding opportunity? All the courses are fully funded. So uh, this is a very interesting thing, a very important thing with respect to the admissions over here. So if you look uh, at the degree programs that uh, they are offering, Masters of Science program, MS, Doctor of Philosophy program that is PhD. Apart from that, they are also offering integrated MS and PhD program, MS and PhD programs, right? So what are the disciplines in which the courses are offered? Electrical, Mechanical, Life Science, Chemistry, AI, Semiconductor, Biomed, Physical in, uh, physical and Photon Science, Environmental and Energy Engineering, Material Science and Engineering. So these are the areas in which these courses can be provided and all of these courses are fully funded. So I would be discussing about the funding opportunities as well in just a bit. So as I said that uh, Guangzhou Institute of Science and Technology, uh, this is one of the leading institutes in Korea. So now let us move on to the schedule of admissions that uh, are going to take place in 2026. So uh, understand this, this is the uh, deadlines, these are the deadlines that are uh, going to be applicable for uh, the course. So semester, there are two semesters in which the admissions would be taking place, spring semester, it would be beginning in March and uh, fall semester that begins in September. So uh, we are interested or we would be interested in the March, uh, in the semester that would be starting March. So application period that you should be targeting for now is March 10th to April 10th. So this is the period in which uh, you have to apply. So I am uh, uh, giving you the information about this well in advance so that you can prepare all your documents. So examination of the documents would be for 15 days, document review would be done for 30 days and notification of the admission result would be given on June 4th, 2026 and enrollment deadline would be July 6th, 2026. So these are the deadlines that would be followed for the fall semester. Obviously, if you are interested in the spring semester, then you can check out this particular column. Okay, now this was about the schedule. Now let us talk about the procedure. So what is the procedure? So first step is submit the online application with uploading required documents. Obviously, the portal would not be open just now because I told you it is starting from March 10th and it would be up till some day in April. So when the portal opens up, so then you will have to submit your application with all the required documents. So this is the uh, link of the application and uh, you can use a computer with a Windows operating system and uh, then you can submit your application. Check your email regularly. So GIST admission team or the department you applied to may try to reach to you uh, for notification or an interview if necessary. Okay. Notification of the admission results. So notification of final results will be sent to the email address which you registered in the online application system and successful candidates must respond to the admission offer. Right. Next is enrollment requires submission of enrollment documents and paying the matriculation fees. Now, if you decide to accept the admission offer of GIST graduate school, you must submit the enrollment documents which will be notified to successful candidates via post and pay the matriculation fees by registration and enrollment deadline. If enrolled documents do not arrive at GST, admission and matriculation fees is not paid by the deadline, the admission offer will be revoked. Next is submission of verified academic certificates, apply for student visa and English requirement. So understand this, this is a conditional to admission and uh, uh, if you read all of this then you would uh, get an idea that uh, if, you can up, if you can produce a certificate in which uh, your last education has been, uh, they, it, it is a certificate that states that your last education has been in English. So then uh, you would not need any IELTS or uh, TOEFL score. So in general, the minimum TOEFL score is this much. But as I said, that uh, uh, for, for people who, who have completed their uh, studies in English, then uh, your, then it might be waived off. So that is the thing. Matriculation fees at the beginning of the first semester GIST all admitted students pay matriculation fees. This is non-refundable fees of 680001 which will provide 
access to variety of GIST programs and service at no additional charge. This payment is due at the time of enrollment. Now matriculation fee waiver application is also possible. So if you want uh, to apply for that, then uh, you, you can uh, read out this and uh, then you can apply for that as well. Now let us move forward on to the next thing that means uh, the required documents. Now over here, what are the mandatory requirements? So online application, you'll have to fill in the application form. Official degree certificate and transcript. So this is, uh, is required for all UG and graduate degree programs. Two letters of recommendation, they are required. And uh, an official English proficiency score report. As I said that uh, if, uh, your, uh, if your studies have been in English, then you can uh, apply for a waiver also. So then if applicable, these are also the things that uh, might be required in your particular case. Now, uh, you would be knowing that uh, we have uh, uh, started a course, uh, started a uh, Udan program in which we are offering help to the students who are wishing to apply for abroad programs as well as for Indian programs. So if you are applying for a MS, a master's program to abroad universities or you are uh, applying for PhD programs or master's programs in India and you want some support then you can uh, then you can use the Udan services that we are offering. So under the Udan services we offer general consultation for instance you want advice on the international university applications or you want help in document preparation for example SOP writing, letter of motivation, CV preparation etc. You want help in interview preparation then also we uh, can help you out. Apart from that a general consultation fees we have tried to keep the fees as nominal as possible so the general consultation fees that i just mentioned it is just rupees 299 uh, for a period of 49 45 minutes you would be getting a slot of 45 minutes and then in that slot you can uh, ask your questions so how does it work uh, depending upon where or in which country you want to apply for your uh, uh, masters or a phd or any internship program uh, we get you connected with a uh, expert in that particular area and then uh, we can help you out with your application form and things like that. So if you want to book a slot, you can contact us on this particular number 8299134528 and we would be happy to help you out. Now coming back to the uh, documents and everything. So this was the page where you can click uh, and find out the required documents. So schedule, procedure, required documents, everything. Now let me just move on to the scholarships that are uh, that would be uh, given to you. So tuition assistance, all students. So tuition fully supported and this would be uh, uh, the tuition fees that would be provided to you so that would be fully supported it would be waived off i believe the one time matriculation fees is charged to all newly admitted students some students may get exemption from this also but this would be the tuition fee and it is fully supported monthly stipends so student allowances of this for ms students this and uh, for phd students also uh, the, uh, the allowances would be there so this is student allowances one four zero 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 one per month for ms and 295000 for PhD students. Meal allowances would also be given. Students should have completed at least 9 credits in the previous semester for the above two. And international students allowances this, this much, one per month. Right. So research assistantship, all students participating in research project. Uh, this was uh, what was given uh, for the research for participating as a research assistantship. Housing all students. The waiting time may take longer than expected. The housing fees will be increased every year. So housing you would also uh, get and uh, this is uh, the criteria of the housing, right? Health insurance, 60% of national health insurance is supported. That means health insurance, 60% of the health insurance would also be reimbursed by the college, by the department. Flight reimbursement, all incoming international students reimbursement for one way flight to Korea. So this is for, for the first time use only. So these, this is all what you are getting uh, if you are applying to this. I already told you about the degree program. So if you are interested in any one of these, for example, I am interested in life science. So I would be clicking on this and I would be uh, checking out the department and the information that is available over here. Right. So uh, research and education in selected area advances in biomedical science and technology. You can go on and uh, study about his uh, faculty and the admission and everything. Right. So this is the school of life sciences. I believe uh, this particular video would have uh, been benefited you. So if you like the video, just hit the like button, 
do do not forget to subscribe our channel and keep supporting thank you so much have a good day